Hello everybody and welcome to Nextreme. Today we're going to be checking out my game pickups leading to March 2022. Let's check it out. everybody welcome back if you haven't already hit that subscribe button down below and let's jump into these pickups okay so this month of March I didn't get a ton of stuff so this is gonna be a shorter than usual pickup video uh, it's just mostly what I've been picking up at thrift stores and things um, a lot of that has to do because uh, I've been collecting other things as well I've been focusing a little bit more on those other things um, if you're interested in seeing these other things that are not game related that I've been collecting leave a comment down below let me know if you'd like to see a video on those well anyways, let's jump in. Okay, starting off, I got one game for the Switch this month, and that is a Beyond the Steel Sky Steelbook Edition. So Beyond the Steel Sky is a remake of an old PC point-and-click adventure. And the graphics in this game are quite nice. I've been eyeing this game for a while. It's a futuristic point-and-click adventure game. You play as a guy who got abducted in a brutal attack, and you're trying to solve this mystery, and you go to the city. It looks awesome. I can't wait to jump into it and experience the story. Next up is one of the main games that I wanted to pick up for the PS4, and that is the Medieval Remake. Now this game is a straight up remake of the PlayStation 1 Medieval game. I'm a huge fan of all these Halloween themed games. I've never played the PS1 game, but uh, like I said, a huge fan of Halloween themed stuff. And I really wanted to pick this one up, especially because I felt like, you know, this might be one of the ones that disappears if you wait too long. So, I don't know. I really wanted to play this. Super excited. Looks like a lot of fun. I hear there hasn't been a lot of quality of life upgrades in this version uh, compared to the PS1 version. It's just mostly like a graphic rebuild. So, but I don't know. I'll, I'll play it, see if I like it. We'll see. I've always had my doubts about you for this new. You're just not tough from hero material. Next up is an original Xbox game. I got Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance. Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance is one of the Mortal Kombat games before they fixed the gameplay in uh, Mortal Kombat games, which was which was fixed in Mortal Kombat 9, but this is one of the later ones. I know they've been revamping the fighting system as they went. This one I hear is pretty decent, but generally I don't uh, I don't like the Mortal Kombat games where they had like more of a Tekken style of gameplay. But I don't know, I picked this up at a thrift store for pretty cheap and uh, I, I, I want to try it out, see if it's any good. Next up, I picked up Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3. If you know, don't know what these games are, you have no interest in skateboarding, that's for sure. Now, I don't really have a huge interest in skateboarding, but I always really enjoyed the Tony Hawk games, especially the Underground series, which I absolutely love those two games. It's my favorite in the series. But Tony Hawk uh, Pro Skater 3 is another good one. This is the first Tony Hawk game in that generation of systems, because 1 and 2, I believe, were on the PS1 and the N64. So uh, definitely worth checking this version out. Next up, I picked this up at a thrift store. I got a few PC games I want to show you. Uh, this one is Power Rangers Ninja Storm for the PC, uh, published by THQ. This game is nothing special. It's just a compilation of mini games thrown together for uh, younger audiences. But I've been on this kick lately, and one of those things that I mentioned earlier that I've been collecting is all things Power Rangers. So uh, I saw this at the thrift store. I picked it up, and uh, it's just not looking nice on the shelf next to all my other Power Rangers stuff. When you're done, let us proceed then. Next up are a couple more PC games that kind of go together, and that's You Don't Know Jack and You Don't Know Jack Volume 2. These are, if you do not know, are hilarious game show games on the PC. Um, I absolutely love these games. There is a Wii game, which is really good as well, but uh, these are the first ones I played, and they were on the PC. Published by Sierra, I'm a huge sucker for uh, as soon as I see that Sierra logo on anything PC, uh, it brings back a lot of nostalgia, and I want to pick it up as well. So, uh, yeah, I love these games. You know, I didn't know I'd be waking up and spending my mornings with you. Pretty soon we're going to tell my mother about this relationship. How many people do we have playing this morning? Next up is, in my opinion, my favorite wrestling game, video game of all time. Had this as a kid, me and my brother shared it. When we moved out, he pretty much kept all the games that were both of ours. 
and uh, this was one of them. Now, this game is, like I said, my favorite wrestling game of all time because there is one with better gameplay mechanics, but this one, in my opinion, has the best roster of any video game ever, and that is WCW NWO Revenge. I love this game. They took the gameplay from WCW NWO World Tour and refined it and made it awesome. They added an awesome battle royal mode where you get a top 60 guys coming in. Very arcade style gameplay, easy to pick up and play, and that's what made this game so fun is because it was so easy to pick up and play, anybody could come over four players on the N64 and jump in and have an amazing time. And like I said, this game has got my favorite roster in any wrestling game ever released, so absolutely love it. Call 1-800-WCW-8661 to order now. Also available wherever video games are sold. Revenge is just too sweet. Next up, I got a couple PS1 games that I picked up at thrift stores. First is Croc The Legend of Gobo. So this game is a uh, 3D platformer for the PlayStation 1. It's kind of fun. The controls are a little bit janky though. I guess at this point they hadn't really figured them out, how to do cameras. And uh, yeah, they're a little bit janky. The cameras, you're fighting with it a lot in the game. But the game overall like feels pretty good. The graphics are decent and uh, it's a lot of fun to play. Next one was one that I was super excited to find, and I found it at a thrift store. And uh, I found it was actually thrown in with the CDs, the music CDs. So I only paid two bucks for it, and that is a Mortal Kombat trilogy. I was so excited about this one because this is a relatively decently expensive game, and uh, this is the ultimate version of the original Mortal Kombat game the trilogy. It has all the characters from the first three games thrown in, and I think Sheev is missing maybe, but whatever. Um, it has all the other like big forearm boss guys in it. The game is very unbalanced though. Like if you pick like I think it's like Montaro or Kentaro, it's like one punch takes like half a life bar when you're playing through the game. So the game is not balanced at all, but it's kind of cool that it gives you the option to play as all these other characters that you normally were and never able to play before. Next up is a cool Sega Saturn game I got, and that game is called Blast Chamber. Essentially this game is a multiplayer deathmatch, 3D, with you're in a cube type area, and uh, it's constantly spinning and moving. Essentially you're trying to be the last one to die, because you all have bombs strapped to you, and then they're counting down, and there's different things to get other people's counters to count down quicker, and yours to, to count up quicker. I don't know, this game looks like a lot of fun, I saw it, I picked it up, and uh, I want to try it and uh, hopefully enjoy it. Welcome to the Blast Chamber. It's a unique 3D obstacle course that will turn you upside down. Battle your friends in a mad scramble for control of the crystal. Each of the 60 different chambers offers a unique challenge for one to four players. Next up is the final game for the month. Like I said, this is a very small month for pickups. And so this game is a game I already did an unboxing on on my channel. And that is Fox's Peter Pan and the Pirates. I did an unboxing on this on my channel because it is almost a sealed NES game. So it's all the wrapper, a hang tag, everything on it. But the uh, it was sliced at the top so you could get the game out. Um, which was great because I would rather be able to play the game and I don't feel guilty for opening it So uh, and I don't have to buy a second copy of it So I was pretty happy about that didn't pay a lot for this at all and this is one of my m most Nostalgic TV shows as a kid I used to play on Fox kids in the morning It was about Peter Pan just going on adventures in the early 90s. I absolutely love the show game Not so great, but the the show was uh, I really loved it Excuse me, your highness, but Neverland is my kingdom, and I will go where I please, when I please. Well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed these pickups for the March of 2022. If you like what you saw, hit like. 
If you dislike what you saw, hit dislike. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment down below. If there's anything in this video you would like to see a let's play of, leave that in the comments down below. Don't for also, don't for I forget to mention this, don't forget to hit that bell button for notifications for when I upload new videos. And that's it for this video folks and you have a good day.